Hello everyone, this is Sergeant Reza here. We're going to be continuing on the game called Dyson Sphere Program. So I'm just going to go into the loading and load my previous game where we left off. Now, I have been playing this game off screen for uh, yes, uh, yesterday as well, so I have upgraded quite a lot um, resources here. Now, as you can see, I have automated the production lines of the circuit boards so this is where all the circuit boards are being manufactured and also I've automated the production line of the magnetic coil so these two items are now being manufactured continuously and also you can see I've set up automated production lines of uh, iron ingots and uh, coal stone so that we can just keep rolling with the research progress and I have also done quite a bit of research as well so as you can see I have the basic logistics basic logistics system one research and number two as well researched for number three I don't have the energy matrix now I will be I will be moving on to that next and I've also in, uh, researched the envir environmental modification, steel melting, smelting purification, and I have also unlocked um, solar panels as well. And I have the basic research here. The thermal power plant here as well, I have it unlocked. Research, should I say. And fluid storage as well high efficiency plasma control and magnetic drive so as you can tell by just looking at it I've done quite a bit of research and in the upgrade section I've like nothing upgraded like just drive engine now this allows me to fly my mecha unit so I so basically I don't have to walk from one place to another so I just have to double click and just start flying double click the space and then I just start flying wherever I want to so as you can see I had uh, two production two mining machines here on the iron ore and uh, I have one mining machine on another iron ore here and there's more coal over here All that iron ore is being smelted into magnets. Now, the magnets travel all the way down to the assembly units, which create magnetic coils. Now, I've also, I've shown you before, I've automated the production line of circuit boards as well. So, we're basically producing magnetic coils and circuit boards automatically so all them two are being fed into this research uh, in uh, matrix lab so from here our electronic electromagnetic matrix is being manufactured here and from here it's going into the storage and as you can see I have quite a big number of magnetic electromagnetic matrix available in my storage area and it's all being manufactured automatically. It doesn't seem to be working at the moment now. I wonder what's going on here. Let me just have a look at the production line here. So we have no iron ingots coming in. So let's have a look at the production line. Oh, we have all the gear here. No iron ingots. This is producing iron ingots here. Now I'm gonna have to. There's no storage space available for iron ingots here, that's why it's not working. So I might have to um, build another warehouse just for the iron ingots. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of remodification here and uh, get rid of. Um, I can 
I'm not gonna get rid of the warehouse, but I will get rid of uh, this production line here. There's no iron ore. I don't have any iron ore on this side, so I can't go to that side there. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is... Basically just connect this production line to this here. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And... Uh, raise this production line here by one my bolt flash and join this unit to here so that we can have a direct flow of iron ingots going into the assembler I'm just gonna get rid of this, and uh, I'm gonna have to raise this production line by one. By one, yes. Mm. Okay, and then back onto the ground, back into. The joining unit here. Go flash. Get rid of this here. This production line here needs to go. So it's going to go all the way to straight into the assembler. Just going to join this production here. Storage area, all the gears, and this is iron ingot as well to manufacture. So now we have an automatic protection line of iron ingots going into the assembler, and from the assembler, we will have circuit boards being manufactured. And there you go. Now we should have this back up online again. Now we have the automated production line of our research, our electromagnetic matrix. And next we have to produce, maybe do a bit of research on uh, the red electromagnetic matrix. I wonder if we can research it from here. Um, information matrix. What do we have here? Unlocks the purple information matrix. No, we, we're too far away from that processor. No. Energy storage. No. Planetary logistics system. No. Processor. High strength crystal. No. Energy matrix. Hydrogen fuel, thruster. Okay, that area. High efficiency. Mm -hmm. We had the red one, but we had the blue one, but not the red one. 
but our main task is going to be like you know basically producing the red matrix but I don't know how to do it basic engineering So we have unlocked, you can now extract crude oil resources in addition to using its energy you can also refine it into various chemical products. Okay. Energy matrix. Oh here we go. We have the energy matrix here so we're going to queue that next. So this will be our next task. I presume we're going to be needing this as well but we don't have the red energy matrix. So that's in the queue, so it should be working on there. Let me just grab more of this electromagnetic matrix so that we don't run out of it. We should have plenty in the inventory. And so basically... And also please hit that like and subscribe button because I will be playing more and more of this game more often and I will be uploading regularly so if you guys want to see more of this please hit that like and subscribe button it will help out my channel greatly and also leave a comment so we need an automatic production line of this unit here as well. I'm gonna set up an automatic production line of iron ingots. Um, I think I should build another refiner here, another mining facility here, and then run it over here. Lots of steel. So, what we're what I'm gonna do here is that I am going to set up another production facility. So, mining facility. I'm gonna press R to rotate it. It's 195k. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the best spot we can put it at. electricity uh, let's put one of these wind turbine here too close to another wind turbine let's set it up here and uh, now we already have uh, storage units here I think I'm gonna disassemble that. leave that warehouse where it is for now because there's a lot of iron in this and I don't have enough storage space I seem to be full on gears in my own storage space so we're going to set up a smelting facility Oh, that's just water pump. Oil extractor. No. A smelter. So what we're going to do is we are going to put this yoke right here. 
right, I had set up a production line from here to here. And it looks like we need electricity here as well. Let's just manufacture powerless power coils. <coughs> also, we're gonna have to set up a production line for making power coils as well, plasma exciters. Exciters. We're gonna be needing them a lot. <coughs> So there you go, we have one here. Can join this one right here. So now we have an automation production line of ironing it. You have unlocked the semiconductor machine, the micro crystalline components which can be used to make more complex ingredient circuits. Okay. Uh, so you're going to be making iron ingots here. No, that's not that's my story. Iron ingots, yes. And from the iron ingots going to be another um, where is this production assembly smelter not smelter right wonder will that work like this if they're like too close to each other successfully join these two together and you're going to be producing steel aha so now we have production of steel and from here uh, steel can produce exactly what so steel is going to be needed so I'm going to build a warehouse This seems like an overly now please do excuse my bad narrating here. I'm not really good at narrating here now. I'm not really an expert in making videos such as this one now. So please excuse my bad narrating. We are how far are we on the research here now? Let's look. We are 40% done, I think. So in order to produce the energy matrix, we need... Uh, looks like we're going to be needing plutonium and this energy matrix here. Uh, hold on a second. What can we... We need a production of this unit here. So we need to go to the coal mines 
coal mines. Okay. Oh, we have plenty of coal mines here. There you go. We have a coal mine here. Which is, you know... Should we put it here? I don't know exactly now, to be honest. I think we should put it there. Or maybe... Here. Make another one easier. Oh, we can build right on top of each other. That is great. We now have double the resource production. Facility here. Rotate that. 168k now. 225k, 276k. Okay, so I think this is probably the best spot now for this. What about here? Let's put this one here. And uh, we are going to place. Let's make one of these joints here. Two of them. And now uh, this needs electricity. We have a wind turbine sitting right next to it, so we can just connect it like this here. And now we need a smelter, which is almost here. Two of them. here uh, release yes now this is going to produce I 
these are stones here. I'm producing glass over here. We are producing this prism here, but the prism can be manufactured into further of what? Ah, yes. We need four of magnetic coils and two prism to produce one plasma exciter. Okay, that is great. Plasma exciters, uh, magnetic coils. Now they're being produced over all the way over here. like this ah this is gonna be slow and painful uh, where is our coal oh we have can we reach this here from here click 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 uh, can we grab some fuel cells here and uh, put them into our here, back my production facilities are actually quite apart from each other so I need to get them closer to one another and we have almost the research done on the energetic matrix you have unlocked the energy matrix one of the five sources source codes to keep the center brain simulating and the key to activating more technologies great let's see we can do more research here what about uh do touring foundation what about this here magnetic leviathan technology no we don't have the red energy matrix here so we're not going to touch it what about a processor yes So we're just gonna activate that, and uh, we don't have the red, red energy matrix. Here, you know. No, that's that's all we can do with the blue ones here. Blue electromagnetic matrix. <coughs> we can't go any farther. What about hydrogen fuel? Hydrogen fuel. Ah, oh, we can make fuel. Right, so. Now we just have to automate the production line of a few bits and pieces here before we get to move on to the next step. <coughs> oh, we're 
I gonna do it? How am I gonna do it? How am I gonna do it? How am I gonna do it? I think do I have money in here? I think I do. I got like loads of them in here. In order to produce, <sighs> four magnetic coils to produce one plasma exciter. Build a warehouse. Let's get rid of these. Uh, these two warehouses here. And uh, build one right next to it. Here to here. Looks like we're running out of roads. Or should I say the belts? Gonna need to manufacture more of these here. 30 more. We ran out of iron ingots. Let's go grab more iron ingots. the production line out. Yeah, we need more roads. You can do this.
Pelo no. Set up another production line. Oh. So here we go, here goes nothing, shall I say? Raise by one level. No, no. All right, people, I'm going to have to call it here. So please hit that like and subscribe button and also leave a comment. And I will be playing more and more of this game here recently. I, I will be uploading more of this uh, game. Bye.